I love that this lip scrub doesn't just get super messy to where it gets everywhere. Even after you've already done your makeup, you still can use it. It's kind of heavy duty, so it doesn't just like slip and slide everywhere. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Lip Balm. Let's go ahead and get into our very first ombre lip. This is a look that I love to do, which is to nude out my lip line and then create that color in the center. There's different ways to do an ombre lip. You can have the outer parts darker and then get it lighter in the center, or like in this picture, it's lighter on your lip line and then it gets deeper in the center. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with Oak, one of my favorite lip liners, if not fave from MAC. I'm gonna also go in with Love You Back. This is a light pink lipstick. It's gonna help us to create that same look. I only want just a little bit, a hint of color. And I'm focusing this mostly in the center. And just a little more liner at the top. This just adds to that softness for the look. I'm gonna add just a little bit of that same lip balm we used just for the center, like a highlight. So pretty, and I just love this like soft look that this gives. We have our lighter lip line and then our pink is just a little deeper, more of a flesh tone. And I like using a matte lipstick for that so that it doesn't have the shimmer. And I'll just add the shimmer that I want with my gloss or lip balm. So we're gonna go in and take this off. Whenever I'm doing a lip like this that has a lot of products and it's a little heavier, I will go in with my Prep and Prime lip primer. You really can use any lip primer that you want to, but I just feel like it helps to smooth it out. And when you're trying to shade and create these different looks, it just gives a, like a smoother overall look. Two different liners, Half Red and Hover. Hover is more of like a reddish brown. But I'm mostly going to be using half red. For this look, I'm using kind of more of the side of my pencil because I want it to give that faded but shaded type of look. And this is Hover that I'm using first. Going just a little under my lip line. How we've already laid the size down though is starting to create that look that we want. Now I'm gonna go in with half red to really create the color that we want. And I'm gonna go closer towards the inner parts of my lips. And I'm just lightly fading the center, just so that you don't have like any harsh lines. This has a lot of pink to it. So I'm gonna use our lip brush to just fade that out. And when you're doing this, you really wanna focus it mostly in the very center and then use a really light hand to start fading into our sides. I want our lip to look super glossy like it does in the picture, but I don't wanna change any of the color. So I'm not gonna add a colored lip gloss. I'm just gonna go in with the MAC Clear Lip Glass, super glossy, super like in your face. And we're gonna go in and put this all throughout the center of the lips. You guys see how glossy that is? It's so glossy. Love it, love it, so pretty. And I really like how you still have that lighter inner pink lip look, so you can really see the contrast with the liner and the lipstick. The next look that we're gonna do is a classic brown liner. I'm gonna use cork, which is just like a perfect brown shade. I've been talking to you guys about cork 
in my past couple of lip videos and I also was talking about how much I love Squirt Bomb. I love how glossy that matte gloss is. Like, uh. Also in the picture, like the liner is really filling in mostly the top lip. So you really only see the ombre just a little bit towards the bottom and a hint at the top. I'm also gonna mix just a little bit of strip down from my top lip to lighten it up just a little bit. And this is gonna help to create a little bit more of like that gradient effect. Another really pretty color. I really like this. I feel like I will wear this like during the daytime as well. So this is really pretty. And that was cork liner, strip down liner. Both of those liners just work really pretty together. And then we have the squirt bomb in the center. So we have another reverse ombre that I wanna show you guys where it's like really deep in the center and then the lip line gets lighter towards the outer part. This is a really trendy lip look right now. It kind of gives that effect of having like a lip plumper on. So really cute. It just gives that like trendy look like you just had a popsicle or a sucker or something like that. And so we're gonna recreate this look. Also what I really love in this picture is that really cool icy look that it has like towards the sides. So I'm gonna go in with Diamond Milk. I love Diamond Milk. I'm gonna go in with Pat McGrath Fever Dream. And so I'm gonna focus this in the center of the lip. So instead of adding this gloss to the center, I'm only gonna add it to the sides. Super cute and I really just wanted to show you guys the trend of having that deeper color on the inside. Love that, super cute. We have another one that I'm in love with right now and I've really been wanting to try this. I'm gonna go in with a darker reddish brown liner from CTZN Cosmetics. This is in the shade Cinco. Here's what it looks like. This look I really love because it's just given 90s. It's given classic 90s, like that super dark brown liner and then really glossy inside with like a peachy brown tone, just so bomb. And I am gonna go pretty heavy on the liner just to show you guys closer to this look. And I'm making sure that I'm using my lip brush just to fade this out. And I'm really mostly just fading like closer towards the center. Just gonna fade this lightly into the deeper lip liner. And this is just something you have to be patient with because it just takes a little time to really get it blended perfectly to how you want it. And of course we have to put the matte clear gloss on top just to give it that ultimate glossy look. I really like how it looks. This is what I would do if I actually was going on a night out. I wouldn't go much deeper than this. But I like how it creates that contrast while it's still wearable for me. Now this is so cute. It's even cuter on than what I thought it was gonna be. And so this lip liner was in the shade Cinco and it's very heavy duty. Whenever I wear this lip liner out, it does not move 
at all. So if you guys are interested in some different lip liners, I really like their company because they're so heavy duty. And then they also have like, I don't even know, so many different shades of liners from all the nudes you can think of to dark browns, dark pink. So they just have a lot of different liners. So I would suggest you guys going to check them out if you are looking for like a new liner. You really don't know what shade you want. They have a really nice variety of shades, but this look is bomb, okay? It's given 90s, what? Okay. This is probably my favorite one yet. I was gonna do another one, but I feel like, you know what? Let's just end it on a good note. If you guys like this ombre lip tutorial, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what else you would like to see. I can't get over this lip look, you guys. Like, it's everything. And you see how I made it for me? I didn't go as heavy as what it looked like in the picture. You can do whatever it is that you want to do with creating a look. You know, it doesn't have to be the exact same way. But you can tailor it to what you like and what you feel comfortable with, you know, when you're going out. And just something that you could see yourself wearing again. Like, you don't ever want to put a lip on and you're like, oh, I hate it, but... Let me just wear it and maybe I'll start to like it. Later into how you want it, you know, you can always go old school and blot your lip off a little bit. If it's ever a little too bright or a little too much, but you do like the color, try just blotting it off, getting one layer off, and maybe adding more of like a glossy finish to it. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tay Franklin. You can always DM me any questions. If there's anything that I did not mention in this video, any of the lip products, I'll have them listed below in the description. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.